Hey guys, CJ Hits here. I just uh, finished up at the gym. I actually ran on the treadmill uh, this afternoon. And you know, when you're at the gym, uh, they've got TVs blaring everywhere. And you know, I was in front of a, a TV that basically was, was blaring the news. And so, you know, I can't hear anything, but I can see the TV and, and I can see, you know, kind of the stories that they're mentioning and talking about. And, you know, it seemed like in the uh, 70 or 75 minutes that I was on the treadmill that there were no less than 10 stories of people being killed in different parts around the world from terrorist attacks to, uh, you know, a recent horrific crime in Memphis where four kids' uh, throats were thra uh, slashed, and just a whole lot of horrific stuff that's taken place in our country and around the world. And, you know, um, I just want to encourage all of you, when you see the news headlines, when you see these kind of headlines uh, around the world, when you hear about these horrific crimes being committed, don't just sort of grow cold to it. It should be a reminder that you yourself have an appointment with death one day. I myself have an appointment with death one day. And we can't avoid that. You know, one out of one, 100 out of 100 people are going to die. We all have that, that, that death day, so to speak. And so I want to encourage you just to, to think about your soul. You know, I can't help as I see these headlines to think about my friends and my family that aren't walking with the Lord. They don't have that relationship with Jesus Christ and that hope beyond the grave, that assurance that you're going to one day spend eternity. Think about that word, eternity, in either a place called hell or a place called heaven. And 2 Peter 3.9 says that God is patient, not willing that any should pass away. Or another translation is God is patient, not willing that any should perish. And that word perish is an eternal destruction, an eternal perishing. But he is patient, not willing that any should perish, but that all, all should be saved. And he's, he's waiting for you. He, he, he's, he's waiting for each of us to repent. You know, the rest of that verse says he's waiting for us to repent. And so I want to encourage you to think about that. And I want to just close with a quote that I actually just came across today uh, by one of my favorite musicians. He's a guy named Keith Green that actually passed away in 1982 in a plane crash. But his music lives on today. And here's the quote. And he said, I would rather have people hate me in this life with the knowledge that I tried to save them than hate me in hell with the knowledge that I did nothing. And so I don't want to be one of those people that was silent. I don't want to be one of those people that walks by you every day or you see my Facebook posts and, and you wonder why I didn't say anything to you. And so I just want to encourage you to think about your soul. Think about your, your due date with death. And that all of us are going to face the Lord one day. None of us is getting out of that. And I just want to encourage you to, to, to think about that and, and to be sober about uh, some of these things. Don't just kind of blow them off and, and laugh them off like, oh, it's just a, a fairy tale. This stuff needs to be considered, guys. And so this is C.J. Hitz just reminding us to uh, think about where we're headed. And God bless you guys.